Hello, this is Breuer, and welcome back to another episode of our Let's Play for Farming Simulator 22 as we continue our start from scratch map here on Elm Creek. And I wanted to show you the mods and stuff real quick because I have downloaded a few more mods since the 1.02 or 1.2 or whatever it was. It's, it's, there's a two in there somewhere. Um, patch that just came out. Uh, they added some extra DLC, so you can see a few extra machines in here. Um, most of these we haven't really tried using yet. But I also have the auto load stuff put in here. Uh, when I was playing around on the French map, um, there was a situation that we had that we ran into with one of the forklifts. Um, it was it was having some really freaky behavior, <laughs> like defying all physics. And we actually lost the entire pallet with because of it. I think they've since fixed that in one of the sub patches uh, that came out like yesterday, the day before, at the time that I'm recording this. But as part of that episode, I went ahead and loaded up all the auto load trailers that I could find. And I think we're going to stick with it. Uh, I don't personally like doing the pallet loading myself. It's just boring to me, and it just takes time that I could be spending doing something else. Uh, I'll keep the forks over here, so we're technically paying for the fact that we have forks. Fine, whatever. And we might use them for something else. You never know what we might use some forks for. But we are going to try and pick us up an auto load trailer at some point to uh, to be able to pick these things up and deliver them through that. Uh, let's go check out the used equipment real quick. Uh, really nice harvester over here, but still way too expensive for us at the moment. So nothing that we're going to be picking up. Uh, we're pretty low on money, but we should hopefully be able to pick up a couple contracts to make up for that. Um, let's check. We got honey being produced right now. And the good price for honey is a little over $1,000. So about probably 1100 bucks, 1117 I think is the hard mode price. We're not far off, but it's starting to drop. So we're not going to be expecting to sell honey right now. And then flower is I think it's 688. Where is the flower at right now? Uh, 514 at the highest and well, 525 at the highest, but 514 is the highest that's going up. Um, so hopefully that gets back up to that 688 range and we can sell some flour off, make us a little bit of money from that as well. Uh, I was looking at the fields. I mean, they are currently at medium weed level. Uh, when I was on one of the other maps that I was playing on, it actually said over to the right of the weeds where it says weed medium and there's like a little dash right now. Um, uh, it told us that we needed to use herbicide. I'm wondering if it says a dash, if that means we still can't kill it. Because uh, if you guys remember, I tried killing it in the last, I think it was last episode, or when it was shorter weeds, and it wouldn't let us. So let's get over here and see if it'll let us kill off the weeds at all. All of our fields do also say that they need rolling. So we might grab the roller and see if that is what it's talking about. Tractor noise is a little bit loud for me. I don't know. Hopefully it's still good okay for you guys, but I got to turn it down a little bit because it's like drowning myself out, my own thinking out. Uh, let's see if this will actually kill off any weeds at all. It will not. Interesting. Do we really have to wait for the weeds to get taller? All right, there is something that says that we need some rolling done. So let's just move this over here. Uh, I'll just back it up over next to the roller. And we'll, we'll roll a little bit, see if that does anything for us. Probably should get this cedar out of the way for now. I don't have a lot of space here to put stuff. I need to get it like a better set up at some point. Hopefully we can buy a better field some point in time. In fact, at some point I'm going to move, get rid of this field right here, but for now we're going to keep it just because it is kind of, like it's kind of important for us to have something else besides the big field over there. Uh, we can technically seed at this point in time for wheat and barley, but I have another idea and I'll show you, tell you what you guys what that is here in just a second. Let me see if I can get the rolling done and then we'll, we'll look at the calendar and we'll walk, talk through the idea that I have. Excuse me. Coming through. Don't mind me. <laughs> Alright, is this the type of rolling that it is talking about when it says it needs rolling? So I thought this roller was for, like, when you seeded the crops. And we haven't seeded anything yet. Still learning all the little intricacies here. Uh, let's get out here and make sure it does say, yep, definitely says knees rolling. So if we uh, 
I'm just gonna roll over in the middle of this. I don't really care, to be honest. Just to see if it does anything. Don't look like it's doing anything to me. I think this roller is only for after we seeded it. We'll get out and we'll come back here. Back here. Yeah, it's not doing anything. So, I mean, it's fine. I get that it tells me that it needs rolling because we will need to roll it at some point. But I feel like it shouldn't tell you that unless it's time to roll it, right? I mean, that's, am I crazy to think that that is a, a uh, better way of handling that? But All right, we'll get you off to the side over here. And let's... Okay, so let's talk over the plan. Because we do need to weed this somehow. <laughs> we'll figure out how to weed it. So I'm sure I could do, do herbicide over it at any time. But I was really hoping to use the other thing that we've got. We've already got it. So, uh, here's the plan. Here's what I'm thinking through. So, at some point, I'm, I will probably get some chickens. Uh, because we probably will do, like, bread and cake and stuff like that. Kind of go down that route of things. Um, I still want to do cereal. And we got the honey coming in for that. Um, we will have to switch back to this sort of oat crop for that. So like, I get, well, oat specifically, I guess. Um, but here's the plan. What if we go look at the calendar... Um, if you see, we plant wheat today, we can't harvest it until almost an entire year from now, right? Uh, 11 months from now. So, um, well, I guess 10, technically, sorry. Um, so if we plant today, we can't harvest for, basically our fields are basically sitting there growing for most of the time and there's nothing else to do. What if instead we did either oats or sorghum? And the reason I say that is because oats and sorghum, they have a very short turnaround. You can plant oats in March, harvest them in July. You can plant sorghum in April or, or May. I'm, I'm always going to probably plant in the earliest month. You can plant sorghum in April and harvest in August. Uh, we can always do sorghum for a round. And if we got bored, if we decided that's not what we want to do, we can always switch back to wheat because the, the planting time for wheat is right after you harvest sorghum. But that would allow us to then use the fields for something else in between there. And I mean, there's not a lot of options for things that we can plant and harvest before then. But grass is definitely one of them. We've already got some of the stuff for a bit. We got the bailing trailer. We got the baler. We got all that stuff. Uh, we do still have the baler, right? Or did we get rid of that? Yeah, we still got the baler right there. I was going to say, I just saw it. Um, so we got the baler. We got the bailing trailer. Um, we would need to get like a tether if we wanted to do hay or we're going to get the, the wrapper for silage. But it gives us some options and lets us use the field for something besides just, um, just one crop uh, for the entire year. Basically allows us to get a couple different crops off. In fact, we might even be able to do a couple rounds of grass before we need to plant sorghum so that is my thought process i don't know what you guys think about that truth be told by the time you guys have told me what you thought about it i will have already made the decision because i think i've actually already made the decision now as we speak because i think that's what we're gonna do we are gonna go ahead and plant some grass we're gonna do something a little bit different it does mean we don't get to use the straw anymore we're not gonna get straw anymore but we're still using that equipment it's okay we've got the equipment we can still use it for the for the hay or the silage whichever one we decide to go with and makes use of our fields for quite a bit longer. Um, so I think that's going to be the plan. Um, I guess we're just going to plant it right on top of the weeds right now because there's nothing else to do. Do we need to... I'm guessing because these are already prepped for... Um, wheat, we are going to need to do the... Um, what am I trying to say? We're going to need to... Uh, goodness, I can't think. The cultivator, the, sol the, the subsolar thing over here. I think that is going to be a necessity. In fact, you know, let's just see. Let's just check real quick. I assume that's the case, but we can check real quick. If I can switch you to grass. Can we plant grass with this? Yes. If we switch you to grass, will it let us plant grass? My guess is no, um, but we're going to check to make sure just so that we are educated on that. Because quite frankly, I forget all the rules. And you have like a chart setting up next to me that just says, this is exactly the order that you do things for every type of crop. It's not a bad idea. All right. Let's lower cedar. Turn on cedar. Actually, let's just. Let's actually get rid of the weeds for me. Is it seeding or is it just. It's not seeding, is it? I think it did not turn on. Oh, I didn't. I thought I turned it on. That was weird. <laughs> I lowered it, <laughs> which was getting rid of the weeds. Strange that this gets rid of the weeds, but the weeder doesn't get rid of the weeds. Go figure. All right, now is it going to work? I 
don't think it's doing anything. I think we do have to subsoil it. Yeah, it's still weak. All right, that's fine. Not a problem. Not a problem at all. We can um, we can do that. I, this, what I was expecting, but I wanted to double check. I do want to get some lime down, to be honest, but we don't have a lot of money. Um, Let's get this tractor doing some subsoiling real quick. And then we can... Actually, where's our other tractor? Oh, it's back over there. That's all right. We'll... Um, actually, let's check contracts. Before I get too carried away, I, I might, might dictate what I use for my contracts and different things. We do have a spraying contract. It's not a ton of money. I wish we had more than one. We have a couple sowing contracts. I mean, in theory, we could use this sower for our fields to knock them out real quick, right? Sowing is just usually so, so bad on the profits, though. 22, that's the big field, too. It's a really bad field. Um, and then we have the fertilizing. Well, I think fertilizing we can knock out real quick. So we'll take the fertilizing one. And we're not going to... Wait, do we have... I forget which items we have. Which ones we've sold back and which ones we still have. We have... We just have the sprayer. We do not have the fertilizer. So we would need to borrow for the fertilizer. Well, maybe we just do the spraying first. And knock that out. Get us a little bit of money. We're going to need a little bit of money to buy some seed anyway. Hello, honey. We'll drive down the road that's no longer here. While there's no crops there anyway. And then I'll swap to the red tractor for the, uh, the subsoiling. All right, here we go. Um, let you go pick this stuff up. I think we're completely full, aren't we? Yeah, we filled up before we even dropped it off. Let's grab that contract real quick. Um, spraying. We can still do 82, but it's so little. We're going to accept this contract and not borrow items. So we're going to get you to field 41. Which is right over here by us. Not too far away. Come on. Out of my way, tractor. Why are you so slow? You're a faster tractor than me. I just got up to speed faster. Oh, this is a... <laughs> I hadn't really looked at these side by side. This definitely is a bigger tractor. <laughs> it's kind of cool. I mean, I know it is, but it's just it's just good to see it, I guess. Oh. Okay, you're just going to uh, stop in the middle of the road here. Now you're turning around. Where are you going, buddy? What are you doing? Hey, we're going to drive you ourselves. You were having some issues, my friend. <laughs> oh, watch them have broken the uh, AI with the patch or something. I don't think they have, because I feel like I've used it since the patch, but maybe not. Oh, I didn't check this price of straw. I mean, we got to get rid of that straw at some point. And that full load of flour that we've already got on there. All right, there we go. We made it. All right, 
Good enough. Let's go. What is this over here? Canola. So I'm guessing this is canola as well. It is. All right, let's go get our tractor that's not blocking any traffic right now. All right, sounds good. Start doing some subsoiling. I'll probably skip the lime for now. I mean, I do want it. It's just a small patch of not lime, so it's not like it's that big of a deal. Um, apparently, I just killed the weeds just by driving over them. Um, but I do want to get it put in there at some point. One of these cycles, we will. Guess we'll start with the tiny field. Well, at some point, I can. I, I want to stop using this field altogether. Not quite there yet, though. All right, well, I'll get rid of the weeds and give us rocks, but we should be able to roll the rocks under because those look like small rocks. In fact, we can check on here, I hope, if this is accurate, which I've been assuming that it is, but... Yeah, they look like the yellow rocks. They look like the smallest level of rocks. All right, so that's that. Um, and then we can go look at another contract for the fertilizer. We would need to borrow equipment for that one. With only one of them, I don't know if it's worth it. I'd rather borrow one and be able to do more than one. I don't think one fertilizing job is really worth it right now. You know what? I'm just going to knock this out. Just, we're just going to accept this contract. We'll, we'll go up there and knock it out real quick in a minute. Not going to be too big of a deal. If nothing else, it gets it off the list <laughs> because it's bothering me. All right. Well, um, I guess we could take over for the uh, spraying over here. Oh, I was going to check the straw prices real quick before I got too carried away. There it is. Straw. Um, a good price for straw is like 60. 59 is, is a good. 62 is best. So we're a ways away, but it's going up. So hopefully it goes up enough to matter. Uh, let's dismiss this worker because apparently you cannot go to the edges for some reason. I know some of you might be worried about the amount of money that we have. I'm not even remotely worried about the amount of money we have. We have so much... Um, available money if we just absolutely had to have it like instantly which we don't but if we did we have a ton of money just sitting right here look at this um i guess a, a better view would be over here if we look at all that look at that. look at all this money that we've got just sitting here all of this equipment 81,000 18,000 22,000 32,000 35,000 43,000 i mean we've got a ton of money sitting there in equipment that we're not having to pay for every month so if emergency came up and we had to sell something to make some money, well, then we, we could. But I don't think it'll come to that. Plus, we've got a lot of crop or products sitting on pallets right now. Uh, we've got all that straw, which is not a ton of money, but it's something. We've got all that flour. we got some honey coming in. we got stuff just sitting there waiting for a good price. And uh, so I think we're fine. Get down with this. We'll see if he's smart enough to drive up to field 81 or not. Or I guess down to. It's on the bottom right hand corner, I believe. We haven't got the message yet. There we go. Sounds like sure it's taking a while. I feel like we normally get the message sooner than that. 
Don't mind me. I'm just going to knock over some of your sunflower seeds or sunflower plants. All right. You're going to be able to make your way to 81, my friend. It's just down to 82, sorry, down here. Can you do it? So far, so good. We'll keep an eye on you. You are almost done. Let's go dismiss the work. We do this last pass ourselves. All right. It's done, and then I, mean, I guess we'll go ahead and just do that the field while we have this tool hooked up. We'll come back and do the, the seeding stuff in a bit. And we would have to buy a mower. That is one extra thing that we would have to get that we don't currently have. Hopefully this guy doesn't have any issues with the joined field. Keep an eye on him. I'm going to speed up to speed five, at least for now. Just get time going a little bit faster while we're sitting here talking and doing stuff. So I'm going to leave those little rocks there until we are rolling under the seeding part. I know you roll grass a little bit differently, but I'm assuming even after you seed it, you can still roll it under with that. And we'll find out. All right, you are having no problems with the two fields. That's good to see. All right, how are you doing? You are fine. You're chugging along just great. So here's some tall weeds over here. We check these out. It actually says large weeds needs herbicide. So I, I don't know what, I don't know if there is a stage of weeds where it tells you that it doesn't need herbicide, but it needs the, uh, the weeder itself. I don't know. We'll have to, uh, we'll have to keep an eye on things, but, uh, it's kind of weird that it hadn't, I, I still don't understand why we can't weed it when it's just sitting there. Now, do you, have, is that only for when there's crops there? There's crops and you've got weeds that are small. Is that when you are able to weed with the weeder? That may be the case, actually. Like these over here, are those large, those look medium, maybe to me. Oh, they're large, okay. Almost do this one in one pass. Actually, very close, I think we will be able to. We're going to risk it. I don't know if I meant to lower that, but I don't think it matters. We may have to come down one of the sides or the other. Probably will, actually. All right, well, let's just at least change it to um, wrong button, just the middle one. That might be enough. Oh. <laughs> Running into stuff over here. All right, let's get this going. Just out of the middle. I guess I could have done two smaller passes or I could have just gone down the edge and then it'll slightly larger pass on the second one Ooh, still not so there we go we cost ourselves some time trying to be all fancy with it I feel like this actually needs about a three wide here We 
would go over that. So, how close are we? We gotta be close on this thing. Are we 81%? I mean, yeah, I see a little bits and bobs here in a couple spots, but it's not that much. That was, that was just that little section there. All righty, we'll take it. All right, collect and collect. And all we have left is sewing. So not anything I want to do right now. Um, I, I have a feeling the biggest sewing contract could be worth it. You got to spend so much on seeds. I just, I don't know. I just don't know. But we've doubled our money uh, since the start of the episode. And uh, we've made some progress on getting our grass down. So, so far, so good. Feeling pretty good about that. I'm going to get this guy headed back over to the store. Let's get you driving over there. Drop off the equipment. Uh, whatever, just coming here somewhere. You are almost halfway there. We're getting some progress. Fields looking pretty good. I like the I like the joined fields. Definitely looking a lot better. All right, we're gonna go ahead and put a cut in there. When we come back, we'll get some grass put down and do some more contracts. Keep an eye on prices and go from there. But I do appreciate you guys watching. May God bless you, and I hope you join me again next time. Thank you and goodbye.